Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today I'm going to tell something about ship factor Dan saya akan berbahasa Melayu dalam kes ini um, Ship factor ni is a measure of how much additional moment can be carried by the cross section after the moment of the first yield Dengan bahasa Melayu ni kata berapa banyak tambahan moment yang boleh dikenakan Uh, selepas uh, maksimum elastik uh, terjana ataupun first yield uh, alahan yang pertama berlaku formula ni MP over uh, MY uh, mula-mula kita kena calculate uh, what is MY ada setengah tu mengatakan uh, ME first yield or is referred to as maximum elastic Since it is in elastic mode, we can use the formula stress equal to m y over i. Uh, for example, let's calculate the moment at first yield of uh, maximum elastic for the cross section shown bagi a rectangular yang dalam ni, yang mana dimensi adalah 40 mm by 80 mm. So we can apply uh, this formula. So we apply this formula can be applied, okay, and we manipulate it to get this into this uh, this uh, form. Eh? M E is the stress y i over e, where stress y is 220 megapascal given, and i is b d cube by divided by 12, 40 multiplied by 80 cube divided by 12 is 10 minus 12 because this is all millimeter change to meter. Then divided by y. Y is the maximum distance from the neutral axis. So we are talking about the stress yielding at the maximum uh, stress at the top, reaching stress y. So that's how we take stress with uh, 40 millimeter, and we get uh, m e equal to 9.387 kilonewton meter. Then we have to calculate the moment at full plasticity. Uh, full plasticity MP ok so basically kalau tengok the side view of the beam meaning at the maximum moment the stress Y stress Y ni it penetrates di mananya oleh kerana M, M, uh, M elastic, mom, elastic stress uh, has been reached so it extend to the yielding until the, the, the tengah ni because this one is tensile this is tensile bawah dia adalah uh, compressive ok so basically this is what you call full plasticity the stress Y ni minus is acting on the top uh, on the top part ok so YP distance from the uh, from to the neutral axis of the Um, full plastic uh, element need not be calculated maknanya jangan kita calculate rugi masa je so it is 40 mm distance 40 mm half of 80 so this stress uh, tensile stress is acting on the element 40 mm by 80 mm uh, by 40 mm the top part of the section And the compressive is acting on the bottom part. So basically, when you want to find the force, you have to multiply by stress Y, multiply by the area top for the tensile, and stress Y multiply by area of the bottom for the compressive. To calculate the moment, we have to estimate the direction, the the point of uh, action of the tensile force, which we can get. Uh, since it's symmetrical in the middle di tengah-tengah so kita multiply by stress Y multiply by the area of the top ni area kat tengah ni so this is the area that we are talking about this area and it's acted upon by this stress multiply by AY so T is the central ok So mind you this uh, compressive point have the same value because it's symmetrical. 
And to find the moment, you have to find the uh, T multiplied by HT. Uh, moment is about the natural axis. This is the natural axis. So moment is about this point. Eh? So T multiplied. And since this one is uh, anti clockwise, this one so is. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. This one is clockwise. This is clockwise. And this one also clockwise. So we are talking that. We are, we are saying that they are. Uh, moving in the same direction so that's why we kita campur dia multiply by 2 eh? take only one side because it's symmetrical so we get 14.08 so shape factor will be mp divided by 14.08 divided by 9.39 1.5 and if you test on uh, apa ni, any other rectangle the value is always 1.5 you can have a try on that thank you terima kasih banyak-banyak assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh